Hey guys, what's going on? Clutch here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, we got some more construction to do. That's right. We got our John Deere front loader. Let's get to town. And get to work. Hit her patter. Clutch simulations. Well, what's going on, folks? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Good to see you again. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, we are back at her on Hazard County. We've got lots of stuff to do today. Uh, big. Big thing we've been doing is, well, we've been selling off our brown water. <laughs> Go a little bit crazy with it. You can see we've got a little bit of an influx of cash on the old bank account right now. I do have some more plans for that too. Um, we're not stopping there. But today, well, since we're working so hard with our, uh, our certain little secret distillery back there, I've been having a fight with trying to get water for it, as you guys are aware. Now, today we're going to fix that. We had some tests. We had some uh, tests done down there. And you know what? There's a spot we can put a well going to be good to go but I need to make some room for it I need to get it up on top now we uh, built a shed down there as well I'll show you that guys when we get up there looking pretty sweet but like I was saying the biggest thing to do with this distillery I'm sure we're gonna get actually a little bit a bump in price because of this because really water is the biggest thing to do with that distillery we got to make sure we make good cash on it good water equals good money I think that's the uh, the biggest thing that's gonna be the biggest seller for us make sure we put some good water into that product get it better and better you know what, maybe we can legalize that stuff at some point. Because <laughs> right now, yeah, I don't think we're exactly above board yet. Anyways, we're making good money on it. We're shipping it out of the county for the most part, to be honest. We're heading, that, heading over to the train station and dumping it there. They're getting rid of it for us. we got a pretty good broker, like, you better call Saul type of broker. Let's put it that way. Anyways, uh, let's get this back over to the back side there. And uh, we'll drive on in. Let's see what I've got actually here. So the snow is almost gone. We're almost there. We're almost into spring. I think we've got another maybe day or two. And uh, spring will be here. You can see we're right at the freezing point right now, but we got some nice bluebird skies up there. Loving the bluebird skies. Um, we haven't been doing much of our choring lately, guys. I'm just going to stop here for one sec, actually. You know what? We have not been choring at all lately. Our cattle have been, uh, well, they're still up there. I haven't checked. I don't know if we got baby cows yet. I really should go check on that. We will check that later on today. But you know what? We're looking pretty good other than that. The general choring, though, yeah, we've been forgetting about it. Um, Look at the views up here. <laughs> I love this county. This is so nice down here. So we're gonna head down to our uh, our little secret distillery in the back over here. Drop this off now. I'm driving. What I've got right now, guys. I've got a bunch of leased equipment from uh, well the shop. So this is all there. I'm gonna have to return all this stuff obviously as soon as we're done what we're doing here. But uh, I'll show you the little garage I got built down there. I'm not using it yet. I haven't set anything up yet. I just have not had a chance to get that. We've been busy shipping off well, all the product we've been making. And uh, trying to get, well, everything paid off as far as loans and, uh, well, equipment we've been buying lately. <laughs> we've been buying a lot of stuff. We bought, you know what, I still want to buy some more fields too before spring hits us. So I got another little bit of time here. Oh, corner right here. Make this corner right here nice. Nice and easy, nice and easy. So this truck here, guys, this is the Peterbilt 567, I believe this one is. Off the top of my head. I really might be wrong on that. I can't remember what model it is. This is the exact same model we got over on our logistics center over on county line this one's just a little bit different uh it's all black it's like a truck though i do love this uh this model of truck and of course well on the back of here we've got well we've got a john deere front loader so we're going to use this thing to uh well I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with this we need to flatten out some ground we need to move some dirt i don't know exactly i need to bring the trailer down to load this dirt up and get rid of it i suppose but we'll bring something down here now there you go there is going to be our new storage shed and uh, I've kind of made it look not too bad. It's been okay. We, uh, we've been out the last day or two digging this out. They're pretty easy sheds to put together, right? They're not like they're, it's not rocket science. It's not, it's not brain surgery. <laughs> um, so we've got, it's a dual door shed. We can open it on this side over here. Open up, come on. And it opens up on this side, of course, over here as well. We're gonna be storing product in here. And that's kind of my main plan. You can see we're kind of full over there actually. Uh, but. I, I've been moving stuff, so everything we've been making, I've been selling lately. We still actually have quite a bit over there. But, so this is going to be our storage shed for the time being, guys. I'm going to store as much product as I can in here when we're not uh, delivering it off. But that's my plan for this little area. So that's looking all right. Kind of still hidden down here. <laughs> this area. Um, we still got the Bobcat down here. We got our truck right now with that 53 foot dry, uh, dry trailer. Anyways, now water, like I said. Now, you guys may remember we have a little pond right up in here. And you know what? I totally forgot about this. Actually, you guys are reminding me of this. Um, the secret little pond. This is the secret fishing hole. 
we had this dug down. We, we, we did some drilling down here. It turns out this is spring fed. It's a spring fed pond. This is fantastic. Nice fresh water always coming into it. I was always wondering why it was such a nice little area down in here. So what I need to do is I need to clean out, well, a little bit of this area here um, because the best spot, I guess, in order to put this, uh, our, our well is going to be a little bit closer in. We can't get it out further. So I need to, to bring that uh, front loader down here and load it up kind of this area right in here. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I got planned. I'm gonna go bring our truck down, bring one of our, uh, bring our trailer down and see, I mean, we'll dump into that end dump and we'll get rid of it that way. I think that's gonna be our best bet. Anyways, so this is where we're planning on putting it. I'm gonna get to work on this for a bit here, guys. I'll show you what it looks like when we get her finished up here. Let's go, uh, let's go and load this truck. Grab this, grab this front loader. Let's get on up in here. Let's fire this bad boy up. All right, she looks good. Be able to just back this right off here nice and easy now. Holy man, I can't see those ramps whatsoever. Not even a little bit. Just hope it's lined up. All right, we're good. Now this trailer, guys, I do like this trailer. This is not one I've ever used before, I don't think. I've never even seen this one before. And uh, just if you guys are looking for it, it does come with County Line. I'm just saying, that's where you get this this particular trailer. What a bad uh, heavy haul trailer. I do like this one. Anyways, I digress. Jump back on inside here. Head towards it. So I need to clear out a little bit of our ground out here. This is going to be the uh, the main spot we need to clean all out. Right in here. Um, I'm going to need to do something with the dirt, of course. A little bit rocky. I hope we can handle that. Anyways, I'm going to go grab the truck, bring it on down, and uh, start flattening this all out. All right, let's just uh, pull this in right over in this neck of the woods right here. Because I need to get a wash bay on the, on somewhere on our farm. This is um, getting a little ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really happy about this. <laughs> All right, so we'll pull this in right here and load that up. Um, I don't need a lot of space, but we do need a little bit of space for sure to get this uh, small little water tower and well put into place. A little bit of storage facility there as well. So I'm going to start digging this away, and uh, once we get that wrapped up, we'll take a look and see how that looks. But it eh, should be fairly straightforward. All right, guys, last little bit of digging this hole here. Look at this. Look at this hole we got dug. Oh, man. This thing went through it pretty uh, pretty quick. Not a big problem here. In fact, our Travis end dump, she is uh, she's pretty much full, guys. Let's dump this in here quickly, and I will show you what I'm talking about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get this all the way up. That uh, almost sent me for a ride there, didn't it? <laughs> all right. Uh, you know what? We can leave that there. That's fine. Cool. Um, I'll show you what I've got going on. So this here is going to be, like I said, guys, we're turning this right into, wow, we've got a small water tower coming. And uh, actually, you know what? If you look around there. I had brought I brought this up. Now I'm only I'm working on my own up here because I don't want anyone to know that this is up here. Obviously, so we brought this. Uh, well, it's like a tow truck of sorts, but uh, yeah, it's got a big boom on the back of it. It's a 50 foot boom, I believe. So we'll use that to uh, to place the, the top of the water tower and get all the piping up. It's pretty straightforward. It just needs a little pump in the bottom in order to uh, to get the water out from underneath here. Oh, Pat, this is pretty cool. <laughs> all right, so. Let's go take a quick look. Do we? I think we're pretty much full with this truck. Let's uh, let's take a quick look. Jump on top here. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's pretty much full of gravel. Uh, you know what? We do have something neat with this. Let me get this out of the way. We don't need this sitting here. We do have. Um, some, we can make some money off that gravel, I believe. I think that the uh, the agricultural store will take gravel. They they can always use gravel as long as it's kind of a clean gravel or clean fill. They'll take that. So. We'll go take that up in a second, but I want to get this tower somewhat built first, or at least prepped. So I've got all the uh, the components in that shed there. I'm going to pull the components out, start building it, and then maybe we'll go sell off whatever we got left. It didn't take us too long. I don't need this anymore. Let's get this thing up on, onto our deck here, and just so it's kind of out of the way at least. Come on up there. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. There we go. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go bring out that water tower. We're going to get that thing set up. And uh, we'll take a look and see how that's working out for us, guys. Should be. I think it's going to be good. Work out well. I think. Uh, I think this is just what the doctor had ordered. All right, guys. Look at this. All right. Water tower is put into place. Like I said, it's just kind of a wee baby little one. Nothing massive, but I'm gonna pump some water out. We got the pump down here in place. Uh, takes the water out. Well, wherever this is coming from, it's like right underneath here somewhere, going up on top. And uh, yeah, we just had to place that top piece into place with the uh, with the crane arm here. <laughs> Everything's looking pretty good. Now, not a far trip. I should find a way of getting plumbing over from here to 
well, over there. That would be ideal, so I don't have to make any trips, but we're not going to worry about that for the time being. It's just nice to have water close by. But I'll get an old tanker of some sort, so we can transport water back and forth. Now, as for, well, everything else we got down here, we're done with it all, guys. I need to make a bit of a road here at some point. You know, I can probably take that, that front loader, we'll make a bit of a road here, just uh, to scrape the ground off so we have nice clear access into this area, at least. But I was kind of worried when we started getting equipment, like when I saw the dome show up, like, or the tank itself, I was kind of wondering how tall it was going to be. I don't want it to be any taller than, well, you can see the stack over there. That there is about the height that we can possibly go to in here without being noticed. Even that there can be seen down just over that bluff, but it's not too bad. It's only in the winter when the trees kind of die off that we see it. Uh, in the next little bit here, it's going to get pretty good. Cool. So this is all done. We're happy here, guys. Um, I'm going to pack this truck up, get this thing back down to the bottom of the hill and, and uh, return this lease. As for the dirt, well, you know what? We might as well go make some money on this dirt. I think we've got to ore this. Uh, it's gravel, I believe, right? That's what we end up turning this into. Yeah, it looks like gravel. So we got a whole truck full of gravel. We might as well go sell this off. Oh, look at this board. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's such a mess. We need to fix this as well. I'm going to give this thing a scrub. Anyways, let's head down the hill, get rid of this stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll go sell some gravel. So let's get rid of this bill. Uh, let's see. Now, the Ace Lawn and Garden Center is the only place that I know that uh, takes this stuff in the county. As far as I know. There might be a couple others, actually, but eh, well, that's the only place that uh, I called to. They said they'd take it. That's perfect. We'll see what kind of money we get out of this. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever sold any dirt. So we got, uh, what is it, gravel? Some clean fill, basically, just to uh, to give to them. I'm sure they can use it for something. Someone will buy it, right? I <laughs> hope. <laughs> oh, man. So we'll dump this off there. Make You know what? It's not bad. We'll make a little bit of money off of this as well, which is kind of nice. Let's see. Anybody coming here? Nope. We're good to go. All right. Oh, man. Jump on inside. This truck is just a mess. <laughs> How dirty it is. Even the inside is all dirty. I do feel a bit bad about that, but it, it is what it is. We'll keep using it for now. Oh, man. All right, so we're heading back down the highway here. Uh, this is coming up on Wammer's Farm, and then just past his place, we're going to find that we've got, uh, well, we've got Ace Hardware Shop. I guess it's Ace. I always want to call it Ace Hardware. We have Ace Hardware up where I'm from, and uh, I'm kind of used to that. However, uh, Ace Lawn and Garden Center is where it is out here in the county. There's Lammer's place right down here. It's like a farm. I do like his farm down there. It looks great. Uh, maybe there's some honey we could go grab at some point. Got a little bit made. Maybe we should go down there one of these days and grab some more. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Uh, Cent Central Grains right here on my right. And as we crest over the top here, we're going to take our first left and head up to... Yeah, the hardware store. In fact, it's not called the hardware store. It's not the hardware store at all. It's lawn, the lawn center. All right, up the hill. There we go. It looks like someone's been cutting some grass here, Whammer. Looking at you, buddy. Cool. All right, well, so we'll pull inside. We'll dump this off. Now, I have no idea what kind of money to get from this. I, it doesn't even matter to me. The fact that we're going to make some cash off it is kind of cool. Pull on in. Nice and easy. Oh, man. All right, there we go. And... See here. Oh, it's on the far right side. You know what? We'll loop around and we'll dump it back on the side. So we're facing out all the manure they got there. Holy. That's the other thing we do need to worry about is starting making some compost as well. I should start, po uh, start making some trips down. We can do that right afterwards, actually, as well. We, we might do that. All right. Put this up. There you can see all our gravel in there. All right. And dump it in. See how this looks. How money we're gonna get off our gravel. I have no idea what to expect from this. Um, actually, that's going up pretty quick, guys. We had almost what 40,000 liters, almost 50,000, and 64 grand. Nice, that's an easy uh, 64,000 bucks. I like that. That's sweet, awesome. I love it. Cool. All right, guys, that's not, that's not bad actually. We should start digging up some more stuff. All right, guys, since we're down here, I felt like continuing our streak of making money now. I went and checked on the price of cabbage, and today is the kind of the last day before it kind of falls off the old fiscal cliff there and becomes worthless. Um, so I'm going to sell all of it. <laughs> I'm going to sell all our cabbage. I don't have any other use for it, so we might as well sell off our red cabbage. Cool. Uh, where is it? There it is. Nice. Look at it all going in there. Uh, we gave our truck a quick wash too. I wanted to wash all the gravel out of the back of there, out of that end dump, as well as the truck because I was embarrassed by it. <laughs> So we're going to fill up the red cabbage in this. 
And uh, we've got a couple places to sell. Now, Walmart's got the best price, so we're taking it to the old Walmart. We're going to sell this all, all the red cabbage off there. Could be a decent uh, decent payday for the red cabbage, considering another root vegetable. Now, I don't know what else uh, we're going to start growing and throwing into this silo for ne this year. We've got a lot of options, guys. We've got a lot of options for this silo. I don't know if we do red cabbage again, but we may do... Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't mind getting some pig food going at some point. Ooh, we're full. Red cabbage. Ahoy. Nice. Go take this out. Head over towards the Walmart and sell us off, see if we can make a little more money. I've got a couple of loads to make of this, so it's going to take us about three loads, I believe. <laughs> um, I think it's going to take about three loads to get all the cabbage there. I'm not too, too worried about what we make off this. We're making some decent money elsewhere, but I mean, like I said, this is all about diversifying what we, uh, our economy, I guess, and making some, some more money in other places. And if we can uh, kind of make it look like we're making a lot of money elsewhere, then I'm not so worried about you know selling our brown water and and uh, kind of splurging on new equipment all the time because otherwise it looks a little funny when we're driving around in brand new equipment when we're not selling anything else other than potatoes. <laughs> I'm selling red cabbage. Anyways, you guys know what I mean. All right, Walmart just up on the top here. You know what? I don't think I've ever sold into the Walmart yet. I'll have to figure out exactly. I mean, oh, um, let me figure out exactly where we sell. Now I've sold off and at the tractor supply right here on the right. I don't think I've ever sold anything at the Walmart itself. Uh, oh, it's right there. I missed it. It's right there. Okay. I'll zip around the back side of this here. It's in there. Oh, but I missed it. I didn't even see that. I was wondering because the back side over here. But it's actually right on the very back. They need a better loading dock. Seriously. What kind of loading dock is this? Come on, Walmart. Get back together. Get it together. Um, Get in there. Get it in there. Love it. All right. Selling our cabbage to make some cabbage. That's a, that's a saying, isn't it? I think that's a saying. Got to be a saying. All right. Let's see what kind of money we make off of this. I'm not like I said. I'm not expecting a ton. But if we can get another sixty grand off of it, something along those lines, I'd be. I'm happy with that. That's that's not bad. We got to make three more trips or two more trips, I should say. Seventy-three thousand. Perfect. That's fantastic. So I'll make about 100 and, well, it'll be almost, what is that, 150 for two, another 75, so a little over 220-ish, something like that. Guys, that's not bad. A little bit of cabbage. A little bit of cabbage we're getting rid of. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I'm going to go make a couple more shipments of that cabbage. Oh, this turn is not fun. Look at this. Come on, man. Uh, can we just crank it over now? Yeah, we're good now. We're out and right in the field there. Sorry about that, farmer. You know what? I might have been able to make that. Anyways, uh, we'll close this off. Make a couple more shipments. Drop a little bit more cabbage off in there. Make a bit more cabbage for ourselves. We'll be up over the $600,000 mark by the time we get this done. And then, guys, you know what? I think we're going to be into spring. We're going to be into spring. Making some serious dough. Now, wait. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you drop a like. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys next time. This is Clutch from Hazard County. Over and out.